Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this uh, channel named Geeks for Geek School, where we guys uh, provide you with free online coding classes and the and various other things. Uh, thank you very much to all the students who are regularly liking and sharing my videos, and they are with the help of this action of theirs are motivating me uh, to provide with this provide the students with uh, you know different amazing videos like this, which. Uh, you know, I am providing you guys uh, from last couple of lectures. So besides that, I would also like to thank all the students who are uh, sharing with me their ideas. There is uh, one student who shared with me the name of a platform. So we'll start shooting the lectures on that also very soon. But for now, we are going to continue uh, with this Python game development thing. And also, uh, you know, you will be able to find tutorials related to artificial intelligence, data science, machine learning very soon. Okay. Uh, on this channel of ours. Uh, so we guys were developing this game, right? And we have already coded a lot of things. Let me first show you how... Uh, what all things we are done uh, defining the code of. So I'm running this game and so that's the window which is uh, going to appear which uh, you know uh, in which you can see the whole game. Uh, now I have I'm done with defining the code for this animation kind of thing which you are seeing happening on this window. Also, if I may want to make this player of mine run in the left and the right direction, I can do that too. So you can see, you know, uh, this animation which is happening right now, when this player is moving towards the right and left, it is just the uh, change of frame. You know, the change of frame is taking place at such a fast pace that you are able to see uh, him running from uh, left to the right, left to right and right to left, like this. Right. Now, if suppose you want me to fire some bullets from the gun he is carrying, so I can press, uh, I think, spacebar key. Yes. He is able to fire the bullets also and, you know, uh, this player died right because uh, the bullets were shooted on him by my player okay can i make him jump yes i can make him jump too right so the moment uh, i am pressing this w key for making him jump you can see the sprite is changing the image is changing and that's the image which we are able to see while uh, he is in the air so everything is happening uh, because of that Y loop which I have defined over here right that's the main loop which is controlling right now this whole game fine and now what are we going to do today let me just show that to you so that's what we have coded till now right and this line which you're seeing over here on this window it is acting as a floor so we defined a variable named gravity uh, with which we are we with which we were able to define a gravity in between this player's image and this floor over here right okay it's time for me to show you what is the next we are going to do today so we are going to code the final thing which is this so if i'll press the q button so you'll see this player is able to throw some grenades like this okay so uh, he can fire maximum he can throw maximum uh, five grenades so he's already he's already done with throwing four of them right this is the fifth one and so that's how he can throw the grenades and as soon as they'll come in contact with this flow they'll stop there and we'll be able to see the grenades on this floor like the way you are able to see them on this window right now okay so that's what we are going to define the code for today and we'll be using the same code which we used for uh, making the making this player 
fire the bullets like this so maximum number of bullets which this player can fire is 20 okay if you want to increase the number of bullets how can we do that let's check that out also so we can we'll go we are going to first increase the number of bullets so here uh, it uh, it was 20 earlier but i think i already increased it to 200 so that's where that's the value you can change for increasing the number of bullets now the total number of bullets uh, my player can fire from his gun is uh, 200 so he can fire 200 bullets like this right yeah if you want to increase it to 2000 or 4000 you can do that also besides that if you want to add some sound kind of thing uh, to your space bar key you know whenever you press the space bar key to fire the bullets out of the gun which this player is carrying so you can do that too you just have to add those three magical lines of code which i told you about in one of the previous lectures and you will be able to hear uh, some sound also from the background coming right okay it's time for us to add the code for making our player throw the grenades on the enemy player so let's do that we'll be using the same uh, concept that we used for uh, that we have used for defining the bullets so here we are going to make use of uh, uh, you know this grenade named a uh, variable and let's make it false initially and then grenade thrown is the another is the other variable that i would like to use for checking whether the grenade has been thrown or not so initially i would like to keep it false here i would like to set the image for the grenade so what we can do we can define a variable like this grenade image and let's copy this entire code so that's the code with the help of which we are bringing the bullet sprite on our game window right and this is the one with the help of which we'll be bringing the grenade sprite on our uh, gaming window so grenade i have saved a uh, an image with this name grenade.png so this is a function which is going to help me bringing that image and loading it in this variable grenade underscore image besides that you know just will have to give me a short moment i need to check the comment section also if i have anything to answer and also it is to bring into your notice that i am uh, going to i'm starting with a data science course so if you guys want to become data scientists you can avail the facility of those data science classes you just have to get in touch with me my contact number is 9891 double six five six three four you can call me on my number and you can uh, get all the details for that data science course which i am going to take the classes off from first of the next month okay so the way we have this variable mo over here for that ammunition you know for that those bullets we're going to have this variable grenades fine and let's come down here we have some variables which we have used for our bullets uh, in the same way we are going to have uh, something like self dot grenades right for keeping a check on the number of grenades i think that will that is uh, a perfect variable that i've defined over here fine okay it's time for us to uh, you know come down and do we have to update something here let me just see okay this is for uh, making the bullet move uh, where is that function i am trying to find okay i think this is the one this is the class which i 
have created for the bullet right and this is going to update the movement of the bullet this update function here okay then we have already defined this uh, you know collision part over here this is the one which is actually checking the collision which is happening in between the bullet and that enemy player so if uh, uh, five bullets hit the enemy player what will happen his health will go completely down and finally the enemy will get destroyed so that's the function which is uh, which will become active the moment the fifth bullet touches the uh, you know enemy so that's how we are that's the code which is helping us in killing the enemy it's time for us to define the same kind of uh, you know code for the grenades also so i'm copying this whole code and i'm putting it here let's make the required changes so i would like to change it to something like grenades grenade okay and this is going to remain the same here also we are not going to make any changes uh, let's define something like timer over here so let's uh, initialize it with this value 100 and for setting its velocity we can make use of this variable velocity y and i would like to set it to minus 11 and then for uh, this image so we we have used this variable grenade underscore image right in this the image we have saved so we can initialize this image with this variables value a rect is equal to self dot rectangle it is going to form a rectangle uh, bounding that grenade which the player will throw uh, you know why we need this rectangle suppose there are two objects and you want to check the collision happening in between that those two objects so what you can do you can bound uh, both the objects with two different rectangles and in case those two rectangles comes in contact so it means that collision was there right so that's how that's one way you can check the collision okay uh, second way to check the collision is uh, you know you can do it with the help of uh, the coordinates of the point at which they are present you can take the length and breadth of the object and then you can check whether the length is uh, you know smaller than the uh, the result which you get which you are getting from the by taking the difference of the lengths of the two objects something like this can also you can take for checking the collision okay but this method is somewhat easy as in comparison to the latter so that's the reason i prefer this over the other methods uh, rectangle dot center then direction this is perfectly fine it's time to it's time for us to update the grenade so that's the function which is going to help us in doing the same let me define this velocity part over here so velocity underscore y should be equal to here we need to uh, you know define something which we can which uh, can help us in making the gra gravity uh, uh, you know making the gravity active when the grenade comes in contact with the floor so that's the one which is going to help us in doing the same and then you can simply put this dx value is equal to cell dot uh, direction and we can just multiply it with self dot speed so in which direction we would like the grenade to go so that's the one which is going to help us in finding out the same it's time for us to do the same with dy also so we can simply initialize this variable with this uh, self underscore velocity uh, self velocity underscore y okay and i think we don't require these things 
or do we need this i'm eliminating this for now fine and so this is perfectly fine let me just check if we require this or not if self dot rec dot write uh, i think we'll have to define a different condition for this because uh, here what we have to do we have to check the collision of this grenade with the floor okay so how how to do that so we can use this self dot rec dot write or we can use the bottom part right and if the bottom part of the grenade plus uh, its length you know its total length is greater than 300 where our floor is getting uh, reflected so what should happen at that time dy should become equal to 300 minus uh, self dot rect dot bottom okay so and besides the speed of the grenade should go zero should become zero right because we don't want the grenade to move anymore so it will uh, go stationary just because we have defined the speed that because its speed will become zero so that's the reason okay it's time for us to also define a code which can check the collision happening in between the grenade and the walls of the window on which uh, the game is uh, uh, the game is appearing so for that I think we'll have to again define an if control statement so if self dot rect dot uh, left plus dx is uh, smaller than zero so that's the condition and either this if either this or uh, this condition self dot rect dot right plus dx is greater than a screen's width if this condition is true if one of these conditions is true or both the conditions are true then what should happen then this will this should happen uh, self dot direction should uh, change to this thing okay and then we can we need to change the dx's value also because the uh, uh, you know grenade is going to go in the along the it is going to travel along the x-axis so self dot direction self dot direction uh, we can simply multiply it with self dot speed i think that will do anything else we need to define here okay i think it's good to go player uh, we we can okay we'll uh, make the changes over here in this code also but not now afterwards okay i am just checking whether everything is fine or not so update it is going to help us in checking the gravity making the gravity active once the grenade will come in contact with the floor then this will uh, help us in checking the collision happening in between the floor and the bottom of the grenade and this will help us in checking the collision happening between the grenade and the walls of the window in which the game will appear okay now we for updating the grenades uh, position we'll have to define some more things here uh, I think we can define it inside this update function only we can simply uh, make use of the update function sorry we can simply make use of this code self dot uh, rec dot x and I would like to add it to dx similarly we can copy this and we can put it over here and let's change this to why because i would like to update the value of uh y also like this okay i think that is fine and the way we have defined this bullet group over here in the same way 
we can define a group for the grenades also am i right we can define a group for the grenades also grenade sorry so i'm copying this whole thing and i'm putting it over here let's change it to grenade okay and rest everything is going to remain the same and let's copy this and i'm putting it over here see how simple it is so now uh, if the grenade will collide with the player then his uh, its health is going to get affected similarly if the grenade hits the enemy player its uh, uh, health will also get affected right okay that is perfectly fine and uh, besides this we'll have to add the number of grenades we would like to provide to the player as well as the enemy sprite so i would like to provide them with five grenades each okay let's come down here we have this bullet group dot update and bullet group dot row so for we can have the same thing for the for updating the grenades groups also we can change it to grenade let's do the same thing with this two right okay what else can we do let me see if i am done or is anything which is still missing so this is the if control statement which is going to help the player to shoot bullets through the gun now it's uh, here we can define uh, the code with the help of which we can call the functions which we call the class which we have defined for the grenades so that we can make the player throw the grenades so we can use this lf keyword lf grenade so here we have to put a condition here if this condition is true and grenade underscore thrown is equal to equal to false and uh, if player dot grenade if player dot grenades is greater than zero if the player has some grenades available with him then what should happen so the grenade should become equal to i would like to now call that grenade class here so we can simply put this player dot uh, rectangle right and then center x uh, we can add it to we can add this value to this thing player dot rect dot size let's make it zero and then we can simply multiply it with player dot direction fine and then we can have player dot rect dot top and player dot direction so these are the four parameters we can pass to this uh, grenade function i think this is going to give us the correct answer it's time for us to call the group so grenade underscore group and we can add the newly created grenade to this group so that's the way we can do it simply we can put uh, this grenade as a parameter and then for uh, for reducing the grenades because the now uh, the player is done with throwing the first grenade it's time for us to reduce the number of grenades by one so we can simply use this player dot grenades minus is equal to one right and we need to change the value of this grenade thrown also to true because initially it is false once the user is done with throwing the uh, grenade so it should become equal to false i think uh, that's it we are almost done i think okay now we have to define one more thing here if the user presses uh, the spacebar key then the 
uh, then we'll see the bullets coming out from the uh, gun of the player. Similarly, if we press the uh, which key shall I use for making the user throw the uh, you know grenades. So we can I think use the Q key. I think that will be a good option. So that's the one, that's the code which is going to help us in making the player throw the grenade. So if I will press the Q key, the grenade uh, value of this will become true and we will be able to see grenade coming out of that our player's body or you can say hand and here also we need to define a code. So if the Q key is released, the moment that key is released, the Q key, okay. So what should happen? We need to define that here. So I need to put this Q first over here. And the moment it happens, so the value of this uh, grenade should become equal to false. And also the value of this grenade thrown should also change to false. I think this is it. Let me now run the game and see whether I will be able to obtain the output or not. So if I'll press this Q, okay, the window is getting closed. Why? Grenade object has no attribute speed. Okay, I think I am making some error. DX equal to self dot direction into self dot speed. Let me just check where is that error. So here I have used this formula self dot direction is equal to self uh, in this update function. Just a, just a moment. Yeah. So in this update function, we have used uh, this code self dot direction into self dot speed. Okay, so have you not defined this speed anywhere on the top? I'll have to check that, I think. We have this here. So why can't we use it here? Uh, just give me a short moment. I'll have to see this. Self dot velocity y, this is fine self dot direction into cell speed so what is this error telling us uh, grenade object has no attribute speed okay i have used this grenade here okay Grenade group. This is perfectly fine. Let if I'll put it here and uh, if I'll put it here I think let me now run this and see what's gonna happen if I will press this Q key again I'm getting this error let me uh, comment it out Q Okay, let me see if my spacebar key is working or not. So I'm able to fire the bullets, but uh, on pressing Q, uh, it is giving me some error. Yes, uh, so we, it's not, it is not able to find this DX here. Right, why? Because I have already commented it out. I'll have to use this formula, but why is it not able to 
find the self dot speed now that's the issue q and we are getting this error here uh, grenade object has no attribute speed i think i'll have to uh, check this whole code again let me do one thing let me come up and see what's the issue just give me just hold on for a moment we are almost there but so we define these two variables and we initialized these two with this value false then we defined uh, this variable in which we loaded this grenades image fine it is almost the same you know the one which i used the code which i used for creating those bullets uh, which we are able to see on the game window it's the same code I am I've used for creating these uh, grenades also. Self character type x y scale of uh, speed ammunition and grenades. This is perfectly fine. And then we have this uh, self dot alive character type speed is also here. Then ammunition start ammunition shoot cooldown. And we have this grenades uh, health hundred maximum health okay direction is also there velocity y we have used jump in air flip animation list we have the frame index action update time everything is perfectly fine okay let's come down and i then copy the whole code which i used for uh, this class for creating this class bullet for uh, this class grenade right everything was same i made some changes but I used I reuse the code of bullets so the first thing I defined over here is okay here we are calling this self x y and this direction right fine uh, let's call the speed also let me do one thing let me check here because i already have the whole code over here so what's the problem why am i not able to uh, get the right output so i'm copying this from here and i'm putting this uh, grenade part here everything is almost the same but there is something which I think I have missed. Okay, now I'm able to fire the grenades as you can see. Right, I think there was some issue with this uh, uh, class which I created. No, not the class, but there was some issue with this, uh, you know, formula. Rest, everything is the same, see? Rest, everything, whatever I defined is same there was some i think issue with this formula it was not not taking this formula earlier but now it is taking this formula also okay uh, so you know now if i am running this game i am able to see the player throwing uh, this these grenades okay so it is perfectly fine and we are able to see so let me just close this window and fire all the five grenades so this is the first grenade uh, that's the second one so you know as this grenade striked this window it just bounced back and now it is uh, getting reflected over here at this point let me fire another grenade so this is the third one fourth one and finally it is the fifth one not able to fire any more grenades if you want to increase the number of grenades it's very simple you just have to change this number over here so if you change it to 40 suppose you'll be able to fire you'll be able to throw 40 grenades like this one two three four five six seven okay so it is only able to throw five grenades why why is it so okay we have to change the number here sorry we need to change it here i think we'll uh, we'll have to get rid of this code yeah now it will 
work fine. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I can fire 40 grenades. Now I can throw 40 grenades. See how beautiful this animation is looking. Right. And you can fire 20 bullets because we have 20 over here. If you want to increase the number of bullets, you can just increase the number like this. And now you can fire as many bullets as you can. You can fire, sorry, 20, uh, 2000 bullets right from this gun of yours. Here I go. Okay. See how beautiful this game is looking. Perfect. So that's how you can make a full fledged shooting game. Uh, tomorrow we are going to start with another game and we are going to make use of the same module which is Pi game for creating the game and uh, there will be three lectures I'll be shooting uh, the, for the game I am going to tell you uh, to make tomorrow so in the very first lecture we'll I'll tell you how can you create this the gaming window you know this one how can you create this kind of gaming window then i'll tell you how can you bring these uh, sprites these player sprites and the enemy sprites on the window and after that uh, it is somewhat similar to the shooting game that i developed uh, in the game lab you must have seen that video also it's a very popular video so there is a uh, there is a rocket with which we are firing some bullets on uh, uh, you know on a on an aunt I think or on there is a character which is present on the other side of the screen on which we are firing some bullets through the rocket which is uh, somewhere in the bottom uh, on the window so that's the game which I am going to tell you how you can develop that game uh, and we are going to start with the very with the first lecture tomorrow okay and besides that there will be three parts of that game so in the first part i'll tell you about how to create the screens and how to create the players and everything then in the second part which i'll shoot day after tomorrow so in that i'll tell you how can you make the rocket shoot bullets on the aliens which i'll define right on the top so they will be the enemy sprites which will which i'll make uh, you know i'll code them in such a way that we'll see them moving automatically from left to right and right to left left and then in the third part i'll tell you how can you define the code for making the score also reflected on this gaming window so that's the game that's the whole summary of the game that we are going to start to uh, develop uh, that that will be developing and very first lecture the first lecture of that game i'll be shooting tomorrow so please be there with me in that tutorial also before leaving you guys today i would like to check uh, whether there is anything which i have in the comment section so that i can just answer that query and please if you have any uh, suggestions or if you have any new idea uh, please do share it with us you can put it in the chat box i'm definitely going to check the chat box whenever i'll get the time to do so because right now i'm not able to see any queries in the chat box uh, honestly in case you face any difficulty in case you uh, face any issue in creating this game do put it in the chat box so that i can reply to the query and i can sort it out so this is it from my side in this lecture and suraj kumar i can see your name in the comment section thank you very much dear for joining me at this time hope you enjoyed this one a lot do not forget to like and share this video please so as to make it reach to the maximum students possible so that they can also come and join this amazing amazing channel geeks for geeks school and enjoy these free online coding classes which we guys are providing thank you very much all of you for all the support and all the love you are giving to us bye bye and take care